G'day guys, so it's uh, early morning here, it's 5.30, we're uh, going to drive down to the four-wheel drive um, caravan 4x4 super show in Sydney, so let's, uh, let's get on the road. Alright guys, well we just arrived here at Sydney at our Rose Hill Racecourse, so um, it's pretty wet, so there's a lot of cars getting stuck in the car park and stuff, but um, we've got the FE Park now, we'll uh, go in and uh, check out everything, so reasons why we're here today, um, I just want to try and source a bunch of suppliers for parts and things for the new trailer, and um, just check out what's, uh, what's new and what's going on in the industry. Alright guys, let's uh, go and get into it. We'll go check out the show. Alright guys, well we've got a Conqueror here. This is the UEV 490. It's probably one of my favourite trailers at the moment. UEV uh, 330 there, it's a platinum model. And then I really like this guys, this uh, trailer here is kind of for the person that just wants the uh, the bare minimum when they're traveling. You've got the uh, rooftop tent, bunch of storage, massive fridge just there. The uh, 270 degree awning that comes all the way around. I'm not too sure if I'm a fan on that awning but uh, I do like the uh, the concept of just just the basics, guys. You just take the basics, get the job done. I guess it's kind of everything that you do need and just leave everything you don't need at home. And this kind of shows that. Jerry can holder there. Ladder to get into your rooftop tent. Aerial for the TV. Put your uh, one down legs just there. Yeah. But, uh, there's great canvas pockets here on the door. Toilet. Yeah, battery system and that. Control panel just there. We'll go up and have a look in this uh, Bundetek Bunda Top, I think it's called, or the other way around. Really big. Very, uh, I like the awning that's all the way around the outside, this tent. The only thing I don't like about it is the cables. Um, I just get concerned that they may break. UEV 330 here. Again, you've got your canvas bags, your storage, you've got a massive fridge. Great drawers. I just love how these things are put together. Just so strong. Everything's laser cut and folded. Pot rivets. Put your kitchen there. All your glasses, your plates. There's your battery management system. Little cubby hole there. But guys, I just love how this stuff's put together. It's just so, so rugged and so tough. Got a full, uh, full annex there on the side of the trailer. But guys, when I build my trailer, my trailer is going to um, have a lot of these sort of features. This is kind of how I want to build it. I want to do it all pressed and folded. This is probably my favourite trailer, the Conqueror UEV 490. I love this trailer. This is a trailer that I was going to buy a few years ago, but um, ended up deciding, uh, yeah, I just wanted to wait, see what the market did, see if they brought out a bigger version. Um... Hopefully they will be, but again, it's just it's just simple. Just love how it's all pot riveted. Great kitchen there. 
I think this is their flagship, guys. So this is their uh, Platinum 49, that one there. Just go inside here and have a look. Just love all the cubby holes they've got, the storage. Got a table there that converts into a bed. Just a really great trailer, guys. Just very well thought after. And got a great big bed there. Just love all these canvas pockets here too guys just there's no cupboard doors and things like that adding weight to the trailer it's just the bare minimum you just got canvas that just uh, zips up there to, to hide your clothes and you've got um just quality just quality even touching the feel and the stuff it's just Military tough. So you got a little uh, sink here at the side. Little cubby hole there. Got a nice uh, carpet there on the floor. I love how the uh, the roof pops up like that. It just gives you a massive amount of space feeling. Big bed just there. Very tough built guys, a lot of quality in their hardware and stuff like that. Just fantastic trailers, I really love these things. Oh, oh here's Tony. Got me green bag, they make, them for, they make it for men. So here we've got a track, campers. These guys started out originally making a, a smaller unit, which is just around the side. Check this thing out. That is really cool. Big amount of storage up there under that big nose. Again, it's all uh, laser cut, folded. Track trailer and a bunch of different brands here. You guys, this is a trail that I really want to have a look at. BRS off road. This is the uh, Sherpa. Well, that's it. Just again, more pressed metal folded. Great big alley cab awning, rooftop tent. Hot rivets, laser cut. It's just the way these trailers are going now, guys. It's super strong. Marine carpet there. Put your bed inside. More marine carpeted roof, TV. Little uh, fusion stereo there. I love that, guys. That's really cool. Just like you can look out there and just look at the stars. On a nice clear night. Just a really nice little trailer for the uh, for a small family. Have kids up top, mum and dad inside. The Sherpa. <laughs> so it's got a single beam, guys, that runs all the way through underneath the chassis. I'll give you a look at that in a minute. But um, you got your LU cab, rooftop tent. Got your solar panel up on top, and this is the, uh, the quick pitch wow. ensuite. This is the one that I'm going to buy for the F truck. It's all wrapped aligned. Give you look at the, uh, the ensuite here. So there's the uh, Gen 3 LU cab tent. A nice ladder leading up to the top. We'll go up and check it out. Again, guys, I love these canvas pockets. They're just so handy to store your gear. I'm not a really big fan of this tent, guys. That's kind of why I went with the Bush Company. I kind of like the, the rain fly that goes all the way around rather than the one just on the front. So that way you have air flow through your side windows where this one you kind of get rain coming in. So this is your fold-down kitchen bench. Slide out your sink, you do the dishes, you hose off 
your mates, or you do your washing here with hot water. Your two angle fridges, run one as a fridge, one as a freezer. Let's just slide out pantry to see what food you've got left. Knives and forks. Pots and pans, plates, cups. And you've got more storage um, underneath. Raptor coated, marine grade alloy on the base up to this line here, and then uh, composite fiberglass shell on top. Water filler there, 200 litres, TV, radio. So, guys, here we've got. Another great South African company. Again, more pressed metal, pot riveted, folded, laser cut. Absolutely fantastic. Some of the stuff that's come out of South Africa, the construction. It's just uh, second to none, guys. Absolutely love it. I love how they utilize canvas like this too to save weight. Get all your knives and forks just there. Got your uh, gas hot water system, a nice little cubby hole there to store more things, porta potty maybe. Plenty of storage in the side of this trailer here, guys. And that has to be a king size bed. That is absolutely huge. Hey guys, we've got a uh, RSI here, They're, uh, another South African company. Um, guys, great, great setup. This is absolutely fantastic. We'll uh, get them to run us through how this system actually works, and um, yeah, check it out. It's fantastic. Why you got? There we go. Alright well, guys, we'll go in and check out what ARB's got to offer today. Sweet 
far as tight, you know, it's a very close haul area in the block. It's a massive tank. Patriot campers got a few units on display here. Your chicken, your fish, whatever you like. You get a 
a high quality stainless steel carving knife. You get your salad tosses and your egg slice. So you can feel the heat coming on. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you don't necessarily have to uh, pigeonhole it as a barbecue. But just hook on it and then just sit around and enjoy the ambience of a fire. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Look at this. You can't even um, partially pack it if you camp somewhere for a few days, and you just don't want that sitting out in the sun and the wind all day. You can actually leave the frame up, drop the tent in the tub. Um, that's your pump and shower kit that all comes with it. You can still put the cover on just to keep the dust and the dirt out. In fact, if you put ten liters of water in there in the morning, in the afternoon you've already got ten liters of hot water ready to go. You can use this as your clothesline during the day. Um, to pack it up fully, this top section is all one piece, it's all bungeed together, it all fits easily into the tub. And same with these quarter poles, and they're all bungeed together as well. Yeah. And notice too, these poles are under no stress, like a tent, where they're trying to bend them and strain them, they're just four vertical poles. Um, these are peg down points, it comes with good alloy pegs. Um, you can guy rope it, if it's really windy, you can guy rope it from these elbows. Um, a really good option if you've got it is overhead points of attachment. So you can hook it up straight to your ceiling, like inside your caravan or under a awning. Um, I use it in my camper van. I've got a 25 year old high ace commuter bus, and that's my shower inside the bus every night. Yeah. I'm doing it here, camping the cup up here. I was showering in the snow with it a little while ago. I had this little steam room going on. Wonderful. So you can just pour hot water in and recycle that, or you can pair it up with a gas water right. heater. So we sell it with a water heater or without. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll finish off here with Recaro Seats. Just wanted to show you guys a bunch of different manufacturers selling some great, um, unique products and what actually stood out for me at the show this year. So. All right, guys, well, that's the show. So featured a bunch of different brands that I kind of go with, a um, bunch of new, unique and new uh, items out there on the market. So, um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.